Good afternoon. <clears throat> so today I'm doing the overhaul of the fuel assembly in the back with all the hoses. And um, no surprises here. I'm gonna start here on the left. This is the fuel supply. And as you can see, I can see it too well. The date on this, we zoom in, is uh, first week of 1989. So this is actually or was the original fuel feeding line, which goes to, let's see, this part here. So this attaches here, this goes on the pump here, and it goes to the backside of the accumulator, clamps on there. <clears throat> that sits in the fuel strainer, which I got out and you can see this, it's pretty dirty. Original part number, you can see, and how the gasket is squeezed down. So you can make the assumption that this part has been in there probably since day one. So you're looking at a 32 year old fuel strainer and it doesn't actually look too bad for that age. This is the new one here, same thing. And um, in order to get this thing out, I got a very large tool. I got a 46 millimeter socket, which I cut off because there is so little room back there. See this, I cut this down. I put this on the big socket here on the three quarter inch wrench and that loosened it up by a quarter turn because that gasket was so tight on the tank that you couldn't get it out any other way. About a quarter turn and then when I got it loose, I put this thing in here and I used the 19 millimeter wrench to uh, turn it completely loose. You have to remove all the hoses first. This is the return line which goes back into the tank coming from the front from the fuel distribution system. This is the new one here and this is the high pressure going to the front, the high pressure hose and on mine that blew up about four weeks ago and I drove with this fix here there were two clamps on here 300 miles and it broke right here where this plastic was so I just put this coupling in here and fixed it until because I was waiting for parts and I got this part here which you can see came in from Mercedes-Benz Brent Spanking New this was made on let's see if I can read it uh, January 29th, 21, just a few months ago. This is this part here, which goes from here to here. Um, then we have this hose here is, where did I put it? Oh, that's still in the bag over here. That is this one here. <clears throat> this is the small one from the tank to the rear side of the uh, fuel accumulator. The fuel accumulator is new. I bought that in January, so is the fuel filter, but I got a new fuel filter just in case because I did not know whether or not the fuel strainer was still good. These are the two new Bosch Mercedes-Benz pumps, plenty of uh, Mercedes-Benz clamps. I got all of the stuff again from Mercedes-Benz. I bought extra O-rings because one day you won't be able to get them and I got an extra fuel strainer. Make sure that you fit your new fuel strainer that this matches with this hose end because there's two different sizes available and I think the older, the first generation 126 used a smaller one and that this hole would be smaller. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pumps out and the parts we were waiting for came in from Germany and they don't have any more of those here. These are these plastic holders which go around the pumps to seat them properly in this here. And you can see how bad they are here. So they're gonna be replaced. And what happened was uh, <coughs> we had to order them. They had to come in from Germany. And the date they were made was on June 21st, 2004. <coughs> and if I understood them correctly, uh, those were the last three they had in Stuttgart. That was it. I don't know if they're going to make any more of them. I got an extra one now. Bosch or Mercedes-Benz does not sell this with the pumps, 
when you order the replacement pumps. They do not come with these plastic holders. That's why we had them. So they sent us first the wrong ones, I think for W201. So we sent them back and then they finally got here. That's why that took four weeks for me to get to this here to repair this. Otherwise I would have done this earlier. And now let me see if I can get underneath here and show you this, uh, what this actually looks like. So, just to get an orientation, this is your rear drive shaft, passenger side, and here is the big hole for the fuel strainer, and here is the one for the fuel return line. Both lines are here to the side. You can see this high pressure side here, and the low pressure side is this here, where the hose just goes over it. And that boot just flips in there back in there. The boot is still good, I got. So that is not a problem, but you can see the big problem is the confined space between here to the top of the drive shaft. And that's why you have to cut that big 46 millimeter nut down or driver uh, to get actually over the fuel strainer. The hoses came out with no problems. This one here has a lock ring on it, which makes it a little bit difficult. So I'm gonna reassemble this. I start here get everything reconnected and resituated here. Then I'm gonna take lunch and then I'm gonna rebuild the uh, pump assembly. And then it goes back in and we're done for today. Thank you. I will send the other video once I have the pump uh, assembly rebuilt and show you this, what this looks like then prior to assembly. Thank you.